Welcome back everyone, Ken Cannon here with Living in Chapel Hill, the channel that helps you learn why Chapel Hill is the coolest town in North Carolina to live in. I'm standing outside here on this rainy spring day because today we're gonna to be talking about one of the great neighborhoods here in Chapel Hill. That neighborhood is Briar Chapel. We get a lot of questions about this one. A lot of people moving to the area wanna know about it. Briar Chapel is a great neighborhood and we're gonna be looking at it today. So stick around and find out what's great, what's not so great, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything about Briar Chapel, we're gonna be taking a look at it today. Don't forget, before we go check out the neighborhood, hit like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below. If you have any questions, we're happy to answer them. If you wanna reach out to us and learn more about what makes this town great, or if you're thinking about moving here and want our team to help you, reach out to us at the contact information below. All right, let's do it. Welcome to Living in Chapel Hill, the channel that's dedicated to helping you learn what it's like to live, work, and play in the coolest town in North Carolina. I'm your host, Ken Cannon, and this is Living in Chapel Hill. All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about Briar Chapel. Uh, Briar Chapel is a neighborhood that I get a lot of questions about, and the reason being is because it's one of the more affordable or more entry-level neighborhoods um, in Chapel Hill that still has a Chapel Hill address. A little bit of backstory: When my wife and I first got married, we were this was um, we got married in 2016. We were looking uh, not at the time to buy, but thinking about okay, when we do go to buy, where are we going to be able to afford to buy a house in Chapel Hill? And at this time um, in 2016, you could get a house in Briar Chapel for about $250,000. Was kind of like the entry level house price point right there. And we looked around all over town, and there was really nowhere in town that we could find a house. For that price so we had kind of thought um, that Briar Chapel was where we we're going to end up just based on our budget alone getting started with our young family so we didn't actually end up buying in Briar Chapel but we did look in that direction because it is a very popular neighborhood for young families getting their start those love starter entry level homes over there however there's a lot of other neat features about Briar Chapel that uh, I want to talk about today as well so if you are a young family, there's a lot of features that are gonna to appeal to you in Briar Chapel. You've got amazing parks. There's uh, a couple different parks throughout the neighborhood. Um, easily, easy to walk to from your house. The neighborhood is a, is a neighborhood. The houses are very close together. So you are very close with your neighbors, um, but the community feel there is also very strong. There's lots of community events that go on. There's a, the, an organized listserv there that sends out information about community events, whether it's on the main lawn area there. They have a big open lawn in the center there where they host uh, food trucks and music events. They'll have concerts out there. I know there was a, a pepper fest there um, one year. I think that's an annual thing that they do out there. Some great events all throughout the year for families, um, individuals, young adults, old adults, all ages, anybody who wants to participate. There's great outdoor food, beverage, that sort of stuff going on over there. Uh, in addition to that, you've got an awesome pool. The pool is a resort style pool over there. The, um, uh, the photos don't do it justice. It's got an awesome slide. It's got, I mean, it's really like, <laughs> if I was a kid and I was thinking about where I wanted to live and uh, I was judging on pools alone, Briar Chapel would probably be top of my list just because that pool looks like so much fun. Uh, the kid in me definitely wants to go play in that pool. We've got um, a mountain biking trails there. There are mountain biking trails uh, that are very well curated and carved out. People have put a lot of time, energy, and love into making these incredible mountain bike trails there. So if mountain biking is your thing, and it's a lot of people's thing, there's a lot of people that move out there specifically to mountain bike out on those trails because it is a part of their active lifestyle. And so they incorporate that. Those trails are great. They love living out there, and it's easy access to them um, just from their backyard, essentially. In Chapel Hill, there are, there are only a handful of 55 and up uh, active adult communities, and Briar Chapel has one of them. It's called Encore. Encore Homes there is an active adult community. Um, there are racquetball courts, pickleball courts, there's um, uh, community events that are 
just for the 55 and up active adult community or there are community events for the, for the broader community as a whole as well that you can participate in. So that's a great aspect of that neighborhood, especially as you have more families, multi-generational families coming together and kind of um, living together. Maybe it's not in the same house, but maybe it's someone in the 55 up section while you have the younger family in kind of the main neighborhood area. Everyone's close together, but still has kind of what serves their day-to-day -day living needs. In recent years, we've seen a couple things in Briar Chapel. One, uh, the demand there has gotten really strong. So the the homes have appreciated there significantly. Like I said at the beginning, my wife and I looked there in 2016, and you could get an entry level home for about 250,000. Now entry level is about 350,000. I think um, I'm going to be showing you a couple of examples here today. Uh, the low end house price, the lowest one that's actively listed in there right now, is listed for around 340,000, and then the highest one is listed listed above six, so it kind of gives you a range there of um, the homes that are in that neighborhood. But yeah, prices are going up because the neighborhood is great and a lot of people are moving to this area. And so we're seeing these homes that were what we consider kind of entry level affordable homes are no longer that affordable or getting you know a little bit further out of reach for some people. Um, okay, so what's not great about Briar Chapel? Well, Personally, the, the first thing that I think is not so great about Briar Chapel is just how close you are to your neighbors. I mean, you could literally walk between two houses, put your arms like this, and probably touch the two houses together. So they're, so they're really jammed in there. Um, but again, it makes for a great community feel. You know, you really do know your neighbors. You really do have a next door neighbor um, who's, who's right there. But it's, uh, you know, it's got a cool homey feel. Another thing I don't like about this neighborhood is that if you come in through the main entrance, um, it's a long, windy road. And it means, I mean, it's a nice drive, but what I think about every time I make that drive is if I left my house and I got to the end of this and I was just getting to the main road and I realized I forgot something, I had to turn around, I would be very frustrated. I'd be very frustrated that I had to drive all the way back and then all the way back again just to get back on the road because I forgot something. So either A, I would get better at remembering my things, or B, I would be frustrated. And so that's a, that's a con for me. I'm not into that. Another thing that I'm not super excited about in Briar Chapel is um, some of the there was different there are different builders in there and depending on the builder some homes are built better than others and so I've seen some inspection reports some shoddy work um, not to, and this is not to like speak bad about the neighborhood at all but there are some homes where some builders use some cheaper products in the in the original build and unless the homeowner who was had purchased the home originally has come in and fixed that and repaired that we tend to see them turn up an inspection report so it's just you know I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's something that is definitely going into the con category, depending on who the original builder is of the home that you look at in Briar Chapel. Again, there's some great builders in there. Not all builders uh, took that approach, but there were a couple that kind of skimped on and went with cheaper side products. And, you know, and like I said, unless that's been remedied by the homeowner um, since then, it's something you'll have to contend with. Uh, but that, that tends to be true in a lot of neighborhoods where you have the original kind of builders come in and they use builder grade products and then over time as the homes age the homeowners will come in and upfit them with more premium products and really bring them up to kind of today's standard. And if you haven't seen that there's usually an opportunity for a deal and, and an opportunity to come in and put your own stamp on it. Um, you won't see that sell for quite as high as some of these um, more retail ready homes. So all in all, what do I think about Briar Chapel? I think it's a great neighborhood. I think that if um, you're a young family or a young adult, uh, you don't mind a little bit of drive to town, but you still want to be close to everything, um, it's, it's got a great feel. I mean, there's, there's stores there that are, are super convenient. You've got grocery stores that are easy to access. You've got restaurants that are easy to access. Um, it's a very convenient neighborhood and it's very family oriented. So if that's you and that's what you're into and also it's a very outdoorsy kind of neighborhood. So again, mountain biking, parks, racquetball, uh, sports, that sort of thing. If that's your lifestyle and that's what you're into, Briar Chapel would be a really good fit for you. If uh, privacy and seclusion is your thing, Briar Chapel is not going to be the place for you. Because uh, like I said, you are right, right next to your neighbors. The, that's probably the tightest neighborhood in this, in this area that I can think of. 
I don't think they get much closer than that. So if seclusion and privacy and space is your thing, Briar Chapel is not for you. But if outdoor living is your thing, family life is your thing, you've got kids who want to play with the neighbors, you want to let them walk to the park, go to the resort style pool, skateboard in the street, scooter, go see concerts in the in the summer in the on the main lawn area, then Briar Chapel could be a real option for you. So if you're interested in checking out what available homes are in Briar Chapel or like to learn more about moving to the area, definitely feel free to reach out to us. Check out the uh, contact information below. You can call me. Um, I'd be happy to speak with you. One of my team would be happy to speak with you. We help people move here from all over the country, all over the world, in fact. We work with clients from all over the world who are moving to this area, who are finding out just how awesome this area is, and, uh, and we're happy to help them move here. So if you are interested, reach out to us at the contact information below. Otherwise, if you have any questions, questions or you'd like me to check out any other neighborhood for you, leave that in the comments below and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.